In this lecture, I am going to discuss the basics of structural analysis in which I will introduce you to the speculations and assumptions which we take into consideration while analyzing a structure. This will include the material properties, various cases of boundary conditions, provision of deflections, and at the end I am going to introduce you to the equations of equilibrium. The materials of the structures are assumed to be homogeneous and isotropic in nature. Homogeneous material means the identical particles that exist throughout the material and isotropic means the physical properties of the materials which are identical in all directions. The boundary conditions fall under free end, roller support, hinged ends and fixed ends. Since the free end of a structure can have linear or rotational displacement in any direction, therefore no reaction is developed at the free end. For illustration, let's consider the free end of a cantilever beam. If we apply some load W in the vertical direction, it will tend to deflect the free end in the downward direction without showing any resistance against the vertical load due to the absence of any support. In addition to that, the rotation caused in the member due to the application of this load will not be resisted due to the absence of any resisting moment. Hence, no reaction is developed at the free end. The member having a roller support is allowed to move along the support and can rotate freely. That's why there is no reaction along the horizontal axis of the support, that is, along the x-axis. And the resisting moment is zero. In other words, there will be a reaction only in the direction normal to the support. Hence, roller supports can develop only vertical reactions. The member having a hinged support is not capable of moving linearly in any direction, but can rotate freely. In such cases, the support can develop the required resisting force in any direction and not the resisting moment. Hence, hinged supports can develop both the vertical as well as the horizontal reactions, but not any resisting moments. If we talk about a member having a fixed end, the member cannot have any linear or rotational movement. The fixed support can develop resisting force as well as resisting moment in any direction. While doing the analysis of a structure, the deflections are assumed to be very small. That is, the changes in the shape of a structure due to loading are neglected while doing any analysis. Hence, while doing the calculations, the changes in the length of a member and the angle between any two members are neglected. Now, let's talk about the conditions of equilibrium. Equilibrium condition states that the structure or part of it remains in its stationary position Hence, while considering the entire structure, the reactions from the support and the loads on the structure should be in a static equilibrium. The first equilibrium equation states that the summation of all the forces along any axis is zero. The second equation states that the summation of all the moments about any axis is also zero. These equations are based on Newton's third law. For a three-dimensional system, the equations of equilibrium are summation of all the forces and moments about x, y and z direction is equal to zero. For a two-dimensional system with x and y as the orthogonal axis, the equations of equilibrium are summation of all the forces along x and y direction is equal to zero and summation of all the moments is equal to zero. Let's solve an example in this regard. To make it clear for you, suppose we have a simply supported beam AB carrying a point load 10 kN at the center of its span. We need to calculate the support reactions using the equilibrium equations. Using the moment equation, we have summation of all the moments about point A equal to 0, that is RB into this distance which is 10 meter minus moment due to 10 kN load which is 10 into 5 meter equal to 0. On simplifying further, we get Rb equal to 5 kN. Now using another equation which is summation Fy equal to 0, 
to calculate RA, we have RA plus RB minus 10 equal to 0. By substituting the value of RB, we get the value of RA equal to 5 kN. So this was all about this lecture. If you like my content, please subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates in future. Thank you.